in the new Vauxhall ward. Still less had I any idea that the next time I spoke to him after that, he'd be asking me to fetch his glasses from the chamber because he'd left them in the chamber, lad. And uh, I rushed back into the chamber to get his glasses and take them back into the, the entrance of the, the town hall. Had even less idea that in addition to becoming uh, a, the candidate and the councillor for Vauxhall Ward, I'd actually end up following in his footsteps and become the Lord Mayor as well. And it's just great when I look down and I see young Lana Law sitting there, Paul's granddaughter. And life has its life has its cycles, it continues no matter what tragedies the world experiences. And perhaps this year, you never know, I might meet a young student like me, an immigrant to the city, and I will tell him. This is a wonderful city. Stay, commit yourself to it. Commit yourself to its well-being. You won't regret it. Perhaps in the future that young student will address the assembled gathering of the city council and tell the story of how he or she visited the town hall for the first time and met Malcolm Kennedy. Yes, so I could not be more pleased. Last year I knocked on the door canvassing in Mossley Hill. The man opened the door and said, uh, you're not from round here. I live six doors up the road, I told him. He says, he says, I know, but you're not from round here. And I know it can be hard for an immigrant to be accepted. Uh, but I'm proud of my friends who are here tonight who've made their living in new places, who've made their living in new countries. Uh, delighted that they're here with me tonight on the, the front row and sitting at the back, people who've left their country. I travelled 200 miles, but four years later I was still not from around here. So no one is more aware of the honour you've given this immigrant from the North East. <laughs> After 40 years in the city, I think I could have honestly answered, oh yes, I am, because I'm as proud as any Liverpool-born resident to say I come from Liverpool. We have a great city, and I'm as proud as punched to be represented in the role of Lord Mayor for the next 12 months. I'm glad representatives of the four charities that I've chosen are here. I've been putting my heart and soul into supporting these four wonderful organisations, the Owen McVeigh Foundation, uh, a thrilling charity which creates money can't buy occasions for children and their families suffering from cancer. As a former teacher, I'm aware that the importance of the work the ADHD Foundation does can't be overestimated. ADHD is a mental health issue and uh, affects school children's performances in, uh, when at school. The Liverpool-based charity, ADHD uh, Foundation, are experts in, the, in this field. Anybody who, has to hear, who hears the choir with no name will know just what an exhilarating org organisation they are. If you don't believe me, just go along and join them at a rehearsal at the Blue Coat on a Wednesday night and sing with them as they support their members who've experienced homelessness get back on their feet. You will enjoy it, I promise. If you hear the story of Tom, I think Tom's at the back, uh, somewhere over there, Tom Dowling. How he overcame his disabilities and used his journalistic experience to start a newspaper to provide disabled people with all the information they require. You will know why I chose All Together Now as my fourth charity. As my neighbour and prominent disability campaigner, Sir Bert Massey says, it's more than just a newspaper, it's a key that opens a thousand doors. I'm excited at the prospect of helping raise money for these excellent causes, and I hope you will be able to give your support. Of course, <clears throat> every incoming Lord Mayor looks forward to the important role of the Lord Mayor in chairing the council meetings. 
and former teacher, as I have mentioned, so you can look forward to detention or lines for bad behaviour. Write out 500 times I must not yell across the council chamber at members of the other party. Or perhaps I will concentrate on positive reinforcement and have a star chart at the front of the chamber. <laughs> Give out certificates for, for good behaviour in class. Well, I do promise, and I think, I hope it was reflected in the comments of some of my opponents, if we call them that, in other political parties, I, I do and I will endeavour to be fair to all members. I hope in doing that you will all respect the chair. Let's try and make this chamber a real arena of debate which can be respectful of the views of others. We can do it. In the words of one of the songs my father taught me, let's see if we can accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative. I know you can do it. So let's get down to business. Thank you. for Deputy Lord Mayor. Lord Mayor, can I uh, nominate uh, Councillor Christine Banks to be appointed as Deputy Lord Mayor for the ensuing year 2017-2018? Councillor Christine Banks to the Council. Is that agreed? Yes. Right, can I ask uh, Councillor Banks to make her way to the dais to take the declaration of the acceptance of office? Councillor Malcolm Kennedy will present former Lord Mayor's consort, Councillor Roy Glanton and former Lady Meris, with their former consort and Lady Meris badges. And I'll, I'll come down there.
councillors at the meeting will now be adjourned for 15 minutes. May I ask my guests to make their way to the small ballroom and my family to remain in the chamber for photographs. Thank you very much.